I'm Paige DeVilbis with Wright Rudder Aviation and please enjoy this next video by Tom's Aviation. Hi everyone, my name is Andy Chan with Wright Rudder Aviation and Pipistrel Aircraft. Behind me you can see the Pipistrel Velis, which is the world's first and only certified electric airplane. It is certified in EASA and most of the rest of the world. Unfortunately, we are waiting on the FAA to approve the commercial use of electric aviation. Um, this is a very innovative product that Pipistrel launched in 2020. Uh, as you can see, it is fully electric, no uh, gas power train at all. Uh, we have here a 65 kilowatt electric motor. You can see it's, the motor itself is very small, uh, but you can see we have a couple of different electrical components, including the motor, controller, the inverter, uh, and the battery management system. Just aft of those components, uh, you can actually see a little bit of our cooling system. And that's an important part of this aircraft uh, is that it, it's, it's liquid cooled versus an air cooled system. Now that does make the system heavier, but that significantly uh, increases the reliability and durability of the aircraft system. Uh, that's something we've learned in developing electric aircraft components since as early as 2007, being one of the first air manufacturers to launch electric aircraft. Um, we do have two battery packs, one in the front in the panel that you're looking at now, and one in the rear just aft of where the passenger and pilot sit. Um, and that is for redundancy of systems. Um, in total, we do have 22 kilowatt hours of energy, again, on the 65 kilowatt motor. And that gives you a flight time of approximately 50 minutes, 5-0, uh, with a VFR reserve. Uh, it's an aircraft that's very easy to fly. There's very intuitive controls, makes it a great trainer. And that's what this aircraft was designed for, was training students in the airport environment and in the, in the traffic pattern. We have more than 120 of these flying throughout the world, including approximately 10 here in the United States. Um, big question is, uh, how much does it cost? They cost roughly uh, 250,000 US dollars today, which is an excellent value in the flight training market uh, for an electric aircraft. The design itself of the airframe is based off of the Pipistrel Virus, which you can see behind me. Um, so the airframe itself is exceptionally proven, all carbon fiber uh, with a Kevlar reinforced cockpit. So very excellent design um, and everyone who flies them loves them. Absolutely incredible. All right, so um, you know we've flown this aircraft quite a bit. In fact, I just completed a three-state cross-country in this aircraft, even though it is primarily designed uh, for student pilot training in the airport environment. Uh, one of the things we do find is that the electric power plant and propulsion system uh, greatly reduces pilot fatigue, and that's because there's significantly less noise and significantly less vibration in the cockpit. So you find out that flight instructors are generally much more rested than they would be if they were flying a gas piston equivalent. Um, another thing to note is uh, we cruise at maximum economy or endurance at around 80 knots, but it does have a, a cruise speed of 100 if you want to push it a little bit further if you're trying to go a little bit faster. Overall, it's a joy to fly, very simple control system, um, very responsive because it's push rod tubes for the ailerons, for the elevators. So it really is a joy to fly and um, people absolutely love it. So come on into the cockpit and we'll show you a little bit of the panel. One of the most important things is uh, the engine management system uh, and that's the black box on the right hand side um, when you power it on which we are unable to do at the show unfortunately due to the rules at the show it's a very simple interface for the pilot essentially it monitors a number of parameters that are very important everything from temperatures and speeds and um, state of charge state of health and it puts it in a very easy to read easy to understand display for the pilot so from a pilot's perspective, it's greatly simplified. It's kind of like got a go, no go gauge and lets you know if there's any issues whatsoever not to fly. Um, you don't have to worry about all those individual parameters by themselves. It gives you you're good or you're not good. It also displays your percentage of battery life, which we call state of charge, just like on an iPhone or uh, any kind of an Android phone. Uh, but then it also gives you estimated remaining flight time based on the power setting that you're presently at and using an algorithm. So it uh, does a good job of making sure you understand how much energy you have left uh, to make sure that you don't land, uh, you know, you don't run out of energy for the flight. Sure, sure. So what you'll notice here is a, is a cooling scoop which draws in uh, airflow as it, uh, this aircraft is flying by and that passes through a radiator uh, which is part of the cooling system for the batteries. 
So we have two independent cooling systems on this aircraft. Uh, the first one is for both battery packs, front and rear. And the second one is at the front, which we've already seen, which cools the motor, motor controller, inverter, and battery management system. Uh, that cooling system is very important to the longevity and lifespan of the, of the electrical system on this aircraft. And that's gonna help us get uh, a very long lifespan, uh, especially in the flight training environment. That's very important. So it's really cool to be flying one of the first electric airplanes in the world. And um, it's, it's really the emotional response is, is it's kind of like you know, being a little bit like the Wright brothers, you know, it's not, not the same thing for sure. But there's a couple of different revolutions that have taken place. One is the first sustained power flight, which was the Wright brothers. The second one was uh, the first jet flight, which was super important. And the next one was uh, the first fully certified electric airplane. And uh, that's what this represents. But more than that, this represents the change that we need to make as a society to work towards a, uh, a net zero of carbon emissions uh, by 2050. And here at Pipistrel and Wright Rudder Aviation, that's one of our primary goals is to decarbonize aviation by 2050 so that our children and grandchildren have a, a planet that's hopefully exactly the same as or better than, than you know, the we inherited it. Uh, and this is an important part of making that change happen. All right, so if you're interested in learning more about the Pipistrel Velis or any other Pipistrel products, my name is Andy Chan and I'm with Wright Rudder Aviation. We're the United States distributors for all Pipistrel products, including the Velis. You can visit our website at WrightRudderAviation.com. Uh, we also have a very uh, well-managed Facebook and Instagram page where you can connect with us on social media and learn more about our products. Uh, we're based in Inverness, Florida, but we have locations throughout the United States. So reach out to us and uh, we'll see you there. Hi, I'm Shivana with Wright Rudder Aviation, uh, talking today with Tom's Aviation about our Pipistrel Velis Electro. Um, this is the first and only type certified electric aircraft in the world. Uh, we have about a 50 minute range plus reserves. <laughs> and uh, we're just at the moment waiting on FAA approval. Uh, so that we can start using these in flight training. Uh, this will be the most efficient and clean way to train in aircraft in the very near future. So we have a very clean and simple panel. Um, we want to make all of the information to the pilots easy to interpret. Uh, so we went with a very, very clean and simple. So you just power up, turn on, and get ready to go. Hi, I'm Shivana with Wright Rudder Aviation, the U.S. distributor for Pipistrel Aircraft. We're here at Air Venture 2022. Uh, check out some of our models that we have here. This is a Sinus which is a performance uh, touring motor glider. Uh, it is in the tail wheel configuration. It can also be uh, in the nose wheel configuration as well. Uh, we also have, if we kind of move this way, we also have a Virus, another motor glider that is a short wing version, uh, great for speed, uh, very efficient. Uh, we're burning about 2.5 gallons an hour on our motor gliders, um, great for training. Uh, excellent. You can also solo a glider at 14 years old, so excellent to get young people into aviation. Uh, if we move over to the next one, we have... Okay, and here we have our Pipistrel Panthera, our high-performance, four-seat, single-engine, retractable gear uh, aircraft from Pipistrel. We are seeking certification. Uh, certification is set for 2024. We are taking pre-orders now for the certified version. You can also buy this aircraft as it sits as a factory-built experimental.